these uncertain times when the world is striving to alleviate the COVID-19 pandemic and to ensure humanity's survival. In another region of the globe, Balochistan, despite the COVID-19 stress, people are fighting to establish their identity as humans and to attain their delegated rights. Especially in the past two weeks, the entire Balochistan has been rife with protests to provide justice to Brahms and to curb their death squads. What are these death squads? Why does this connotation reverberate so frequently in Balochistan? After the invasion of Balochistan in March 1948, the Baloch have been vocalizing on many forums in the world for the United Nations Charter. Every source of struggle has been employed against this operation. Since the beginning, Pakistan has used countless tactics to quash the legitimate political struggle of Baluch, including overt military might and covert political confinement. One of these malicious state maneuvers is the notorious death escorts. Now known as death escorts, these gangs were addressed as Aman Lashkars or Aman forces. Pakistan blatantly guided and supported these groups and deployed them in the tribal areas of Balochistan and Khyber Pakhtunkhwa. After the condemnation of global human rights organizations, Pakistan introduced subtle changes in this strategy. Now, this tactic is not executed flagrantly, but in utmost stealth. In 2008, the intelligence agencies started recruiting the criminal elements required for their serious crimes. Many of these recruits were cold-blooded criminals and were receiving their comeuppance in jails. They were acquitted. Through these persons, gangs were formulated throughout Balochistan. These gangs were provided with arms and munitions and were handed intelligence cards for fluid and easy transport. These groups were given the task of abducting any Baloch they suspect of being a separatist, hand them over to the intelligence agencies or kill them on the spot. To compensate for their services, they were given the full freedom of robbery, drug trafficking and ransom kidnapping throughout Balochistan. These groups are known as death escorts in Balochistan. At the end of May, one of these death escorts attempted burglary in Danuk area of Makran. The miscreants breached into a Baloch's house at midnight when the martyr familias Maliknas resisted the burglars. She was shot dead while her four-year-old daughter Brahmsh was wounded. When the neighborhood intervened, one of the culprits was arrested and was identified as a local death squad member working under the patronage of not just Pakistani intelligence agencies but also under the auspice of the provincial finance minister of Balochistan. After the incident, protests erupted throughout Balochistan. Ostensibly, these protests were organized to provide justice to a murdered mother and her young daughter. But this incident was an impetus for the explosion of decades' worth of anger and exasperation. In reality, these protests are against the colonial policy of the Pakistani state through which army-backed local death skirts have made people's lives miserable. These protests are against the colonial policy that has resulted in the abduction and confinement of university students in unknown dungeons. These protests are against the unjust acquittal of criminal elements and their subsequent arming to rule Balochistan unhindered. The international humanitarian law forbids the deployment of death scars and instructs that a state is merely authorized to use a regular army only on strict military ordinances. Death squad killing is reproached as a human rights violation by the United Nations. It is defined as an unlawful and deliberate killing carried out by a government or with its complicity. It can also be referred to as a political or a death squad killing. 
Article 8 of the Rome Statute of the International Criminal Code condemns the arming and the encouraging of the persons to fight against their nation in these wars, compelling enemy nationals to take part in military operations of war against their own country. Apart from these, all other moral or human rights laws in the world prohibit the employment of death squads in both war and peace scenarios. But if it happens, then the international authorities are obliged to intervene and stop it. In the current situation of Balochistan, the international institutions are beholden to intervene and thwart the ongoing war crimes, like how they intervened and frustrated the death squad policy of the Philippine president. Mm -hmm.